Good day everyone! Again, it's me, Teacher Floor. I will be helping you in your Mathematics 4, Quarter 1, Week 3 lesson. Products of 3-digit numbers by 2-digit numbers. After going through this lesson, you are expected to multiply numbers up to 3 digits by numbers up to 2 digits with or without regrouping in various forms and contexts. But before we start, let's have a drill first. Recite the multiplication table orally. Mga bata, sabayan nyo akong i-recite ang multiples of numbers from 2 to 10. Let's start! 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. 4 naman, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Start with 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Let's go with 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Start with 7. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. Let's go with 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. Continue with 9, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. At syempre ang 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Magaling! Ngayon ay maaari na tayong mag-multiply ng mga numbers. Balikan muna natin. What are the parts of a multiplication sentence? Multiplicand, multiplier, and the answer is what we called the product. Ngayon ay maaari na nating subukan ang learning task 1. Find the product mentally. Twelve times five is sixty. Twenty three times three is sixty nine. Seventeen times four is sixty eight. 13 times 7 is 91. 42 times 8 is 336. 233 times 3 is 699. 132 times 3 is 369. 321 times 2 is 642. 
311 times 3 is 933. Three hundred twenty two times four is one thousand two hundred eighty eight. Let's try to deepen your understanding of this lesson by reading and analyzing this problem carefully. Mr. Covid and his co workers can deliver two hundred thirty one coconuts in a day. How many coconuts can they deliver in 23 days? Unawain natin sa pamamagitan ng pagsagot sa mga sumusunod na katanungan. How many coconuts can Mr. COVID and his co-workers deliver in a day? They can deliver 231 coconuts a day. What is us in the problem? Kung si Mr. COVID at ang kanyang mga co-workers ay nakakapag-deliver ng 231 coconuts sa isang araw, ilang coconuts ang kaya nilang i-deliver sa loob ng 23 days? Paano natin isusolve ang problem? Imumultiply natin ang 231 sa 23. Let's study. How do you multiply a 3-digit number by a 2-digit number with or without regrouping? Multiply all the digits in the multiplicand from right to left by each digit in the multiplier. Then add the partial products to get the final product. Subukan natin ngayong i-multiply ang 231 sa 23. Simula natin sa first digit ng multiplier na 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. Natapos na natin ang first multiplier na 3. Ngayon naman ay isunod natin ang 2. Isa-isa din nating i-multiply sa bawat digit sa multiplikan. 2 times 1 is 2. Isusulat natin ang sagot sa katapat ng multiplier na 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And 2 times 2 is 4. Nakuha nyo ba kung paano mga bata? Ulitin nga natin sa simula. 231 times 23. Magsimula sa multiplier na 3. 3 times 1, 3. 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 2, 6. Ngayon naman ay ang susunod na multiplier na 2. 2 times 1, 2. 2 times 3, 6. And 2 times 2, 4. Ngayon ay i-add na natin ang mga partial products. Bring down 3. 9 plus 2 is 11. Carry 1. 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13. Carry 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. The answer is 5,313. Napakahusay mga bata! Thumbs up para sa inyo! Another example. Mr. Ben sold 43 boxes of buttons. If each box contained 153 buttons, how many buttons did he sell? Let's multiply 153 by 43. Start with multiplier 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. 459. 
Let's continue with multiply of 4. 4 times 3 is 12, carry 1. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1, 21, carry 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, 612. Then, let's sum up 459 plus 612. The answer is 6,579. Now, it's your turn to multiply. Do learning task 3. Continue answering learning task 4. Find the product. Solve the given problems for learning task 5. This time, we'll proceed to estimation of products. After going through this lesson, you are expected to estimate the products of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 2 to 3 digit numbers with reasonable results. Let's have a drill on rounding of numbers. Round off the following based on the underlying digit. Read the problem below and try to understand how you will give the estimation. A bakery sells 349 pieces of pandicoco a day. About how many pandicoco bread can the bakery shop sell in 25 days? About is the word blue in the problem. This means that you are not going to find the exact product or answer you will just get the estimated product. Ibig sabihin, kapag nakita nyo ang word clue na about, hindi natin direktang multiply ang mga factors. Sa halip, i-estimate natin ang products. Paano natin gagawin yun? First, round off both numbers or factors to the highest place value. Then multiply the rounded of factors and then write the number of zeros in both factors. Ganito lang yun kadali mga bata. Estimate the product of 349 and 25. Hindi direct ang imumultiply ang 349 at 25. I-round off muna ang lahat ng factors to its highest place value. Round off 349 to 300, and then round off 25 to 30. Ngayon ay pwede mo nang i-multiply ang na-round off na factors. Bilangin ang zeros at isulat ito as product, saka i-multiply ang natitirang factors. Bilangin natin ang zeros 1, 2, 3. I-multiply ang 3 times 3, 9. Kaya ang sagot ay 9,000. Andali lang, hindi ba? Let's try another one. How about this one? Hmm. 
now it's your turn to estimate. Do learning task 2. Continue with learning task 3. Find the estimated product. Write the estimated amount of each fruit for learning task 4. And then answer the following questions. Congratulations! Natapos mo na ang iyong Quarter 1, Week 3 lesson. Finally, it's time to check your work. 